On your left. What difference at this point does it make? I have great respect for Hillary. What's up, guys? It's boy, Benny. There's always a scene in every great Hollywood movie where somebody makes a bad situation much, much worse, where they raise the stakes, where they do the thing they shouldn't do. It's the Christmas season, so I'm reminded of Home Alone 2, where Harry has his head already on fire, and he puts his head into a bowl of kerosene, a toilet bowl of kerosene, and blows up the entire house. And so there is the political metaphorical equivalent of this with Joe Biden now bringing in Hillary Clinton. Yes, that's right. Joe Biden is bringing in a election denier who has never won a national election, who has humiliated herself by claiming she's the rightful president of the United States and wandering through the woods on Chardonnay benders. Deep, deep trouble. Dems reportedly bring back Hillary Clinton to help with Biden's re-election. Let's read. Democrats reportedly bring in Hillary Clinton as a reinforcement plan to help Biden win the 2024 campaign. Oh, baby. This is your plan? This is your plan? Not a great plan. Not a great plan. NBC News reported the former Secretary of State held a fundraiser for Biden last month at her Georgetown home and raised nearly a million dollars. Wow! Her popularity with women in key parts of the Democratic base are considered assets for Biden. Her popularity with women? Wow! What do you mean popularity with women exactly? Uh, you know, your husband flew on the Lolita Express and abused women 27 different times. Jeffrey Epstein was your husband's best friend. Flew in the water 27 times. By the way, somebody who clearly learned from your creepy husband is Joe Biden. Joe Biden had this absolutely shocking and grotesque exchange with Hillary Clinton on a tarmac back in the day where he just didn't let go of Hillary. Let go. Let go. Let go. Look at this. Look at the, like I didn't slow this down. This is full speed. It's like 60 straight seconds of Joe Biden grabbing Hillary Clinton. Gross. Grotesque. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, this is a desperation move, obviously, uh, for Democrats. Asking Hillary Clinton to save Joe Biden's failing re-election prospects. A brand new poll shows Nikki Haley absolutely clobbering Joe Biden by a whopping 17 points. And former President Trump defeating Biden by four points. And with numbers that bad, panicked Democrats are bringing in Hillary Clinton to boost his campaign and become a key player in the re-election effort. Last month, Hillary hosted a fundraiser that raked in almost one million bucks for the big guy's campaign. Oh, baby. Okay, so how is this being reported? Uh, uh, Democrats were considering bringing in Hillary Clinton to help Joe's re-election campaign. Uh, that is the sound of Democrats scraping the very bottom of the barrel. Biden has enlisted election denier Hillary Clinton to help sell the re-election campaign. Hillary Clinton expected to grow her role in backing Joe Biden's re-election efforts after hosting $1 million fundraiser in her home. The Daily Mail notes that it was Biden who was supposed to run as the heir to camp in 2016. Remember, it was like Biden versus Hillary. Uh, and Joe Biden was backstabbed by Barack Obama and told, uh, step aside, old man. He was too old back then and too stupid back then. Never underestimate Joe Biden's capacity to F things up, says Barack Obama. And so Joe Biden was the one who was put on ice and left to just grab at Hillary Clinton on the tarmac. She's with him. Hillary Clinton steps out as key player in Biden's re-election effort. We're not going to forget Epstein. We're not going to forget it. I'm so glad. Put Hillary Clinton back in the spotlight. Let it happen. Greg Gutfeld on Fox News uh, in classic fashion made a Jeffrey Epstein suicide joke about Hillary Clinton saying, you shouldn't sleep well at night at the White House when you hear Hillary Clinton walking down the hallways in a pantsuit with two inch heels holding a MyPillow. Pack. So, and with Donald Trump in Iowa, I mean, he's crushing everybody in Iowa. Maybe it's, maybe it's about VP, who knows? Too soon to tell, but if I were Joe Biden, I would be worried. Hillary coming aboard, like you said, she's not known for winning elections. This is kind of like asking Sammy the Bull to take care of your loud neighbor. <laughs> Message to Joe, if Hillary shows up at the White House with a MyPillow, it's not for napping. Uh, but I think, 
I think <laughs> I think we should all be a little worried and prepared for what's to come. Because even when the Dems aren't painted in a cor- corner, they fight like they do. They can create a conflict to cause fear and anxiety and outrage in order to keep Republicans, you know, scared of, of, of even, you know, voting. Uh, and I think they're in a terrible spot now. Hence the green light for calling everybody Hitler or, or, <coughs> or that Trump is going to end democracy. That, again, is to allow any efforts, legal or otherwise, to destroy the candidacy. We've been watching these marches, the, the, the protesters screaming for genocide. That's going to morph. It's going to morph into a different kind of protest. But with the same obsession, it's going to go nuclear. But it won't just be anti-Semitism. It's going to be anti-everybody who is not on board. Good Hillary Clinton Epstein joke made there by Gutfeld, uh, who is yet to be fired from Fox. We don't want that to happen. Gutfeld continually defending Tucker Carlson uh, and pushing the boundaries of what Fox News will allow on air. Good for them. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, Hillary Clinton was confronted about her husband's relationship with Jeffrey Epstein during a election campaign in Houston for a mayor mayoral candidate How'd that go, by the way? Houston mayoral runoff election, 2023. Uh, Texas State Senator John Whitmer soundly defeated the Hillary Clinton-endorsed candidate Sheila Jackson Lee. Oh, my. Not just soundly, like, absolutely destroyed. 35 to 64. (laughs) That is a absolutely brutal landslide right there. Look, 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 this this is the Hillary Clinton effect. Please, God, let it happen to Joe Biden. This is the Hillary Clinton effect. This is the Hillary Clinton endorsed candidate. This is the result. Oh, man. That's a a thing of beauty. At the uh, campaign where Hillary Clinton was doing a campaign rally for Sheila Jackson Lee, uh, this happened. Uh, A man named Alex Rosen uh, screamed at Hillary Clinton, why did your husband go on Jeffrey Epstein's plane? 26 times. You want somebody who's going to get up every day. Hey, Hillary, why is your husband in the Epstein Island 26 times? Dragged him. So if you ask about Hillary Clinton's, you ask about Hillary Clinton's known associations with the world's foremost child predator, this is what the police do to you. Got to get a rug burn. Oh, man. Can't get over it. And it's so true, by the way. So true. Painting of Clinton in blue dress hung in Jeffrey Epstein's home. This is Jeffrey Epstein saying, I got you. I got you, bitch. That's what it is. This is why you're not allowed to ask this question. Of all the questions you're not allowed to ask, this is the question. Why did Bill Clinton fly to Jeffrey Epstein's private island 26 times? Why? Well, because Jeffrey Epstein owned Bill Clinton. Oh yeah, there you go. This is the thing that Hillary Clinton doesn't want you to ask about on the campaign trail. Boy, I hope she hits the campaign trail with Joe. Got her own questions for Joe. We'll keep asking. Stay based, like, share, and subscribe. It's your boy, Benny. See ya.